RTC TV4 would like to thank all of our sponsors for our 2023 Fulton County 4-H Fair coverage. It's businesses like you that help us continue to provide this great service to our community and to document these events for future generations to enjoy. To see what's coming up in our broadcasts, visit us online at www.rtc4.com.
power structure. Uh, the young man is the oldest to have second. Uh, sure, she has the advantage in terms of uh, that one's front, but sure, she has the advantage in terms of internal uh, dimension. A very stout structure, you know, but uh, to me, with that being said, she's a little uh, too upright. Uh, she's a little more upright there in terms of that front foot, uh, which allows that shoulder to be more upright in terms of uh, this range of motion out of her shoulder. I'll tell you when I step in behind that female, you got to ask yourself, is her length a step in the, uh, behind? But you talk about a really stout mud one, uh, that's super good in terms of her chest. That's a big outline kind of a female. Very square in terms of her build, but I don't see that one. Just more flexible. Uh, the young man is going to come out here in third, I think, is one that is good about her scale. I think uh, she's long down her spine. Uh, she paints a nice picture there from the side of the young man. Gives that kill set up. Uh, to me, she's a little more uh, higher in terms of her spine. She's a little rounder on her hips. She's not as comfortable out of her shoulder. But sure, you know, that's presented very, very nice. Uh, got a family look at her and got some shake up high. The one that's going to come out here next, I think, is one uh, that. Uh, the back two thirds of this female are very, very good. I think uh, she's practical about her center body. I think she's broad down her back. She's good in terms of the range of motion behind. Uh, to me, the uh, concerning thing about this female is out of her shoulder in front end. Uh, to me, she's not as uh, good about the crest of her neck. She's not as long about her front end. She's entirely too uh, jammed up. And uh, that one's shoulder set. When she, uh, she comes at me, she needs to be broader in terms of chest. To talk about a massive center one, uh, that's bold in terms of that back. Then our uh, young man is going to come out of here next. I think a uh, guilt that is good in terms of uh, general build. Uh, she's made right out of her shoulder. She's very flexible there behind. Uh, to me, in this particular setting, she's a lower performing female that needs more groceries to compete. Thank you. Ladies for class four, your round first, Paul and Second, Ray Beth. Third, Colton Baker. And fourth, Paul and Wynn. We need our class eight Pam Gilt to the makeup arena, class eight. I'm sorry, class six, Pam Gilt.
congratulations to her. Pays an awesome picture there from the side in terms of height or shoulder. 
Mark said, uh, to me, she's just uh, better in terms of uh, just general build at the surface, more than I'm more uh, comfortable myself. She's not as heavy in terms of uh, structure. Uh, she's not as tricked down in terms of uh, that one's look there from the side. But again, I'm a, I'm a basic kind of guy. I like to build them there from the surface up uh, to utilize them uh, back in my sound I like uh, the ones the most, in my opinion, that have the least amount of issues in terms of this uh, setting. The young man on the far side there, my mind. Our champion, Amphiel, today is considered by Wyatt Beck, and the sponsor of the trophy was by Chris and Betsy Gardner family, and a reserve champion is considered by Wyatt Beck.
Our registration campaign bill today is submitted by Gavin Young, who served Max Harsh, third place Andy Harsh, and fourth Henry Riddle. The survey sponsorship was Tony and Beth Howard.
this year and have more uh, dimension of outer center body. I want my females to look like ladies. I see uh, more intriguing pieces on an individual that I think is more practical about her center body. She's square and good going away. Uh, I think she could have uh, pushed that team for a little bit more of the front third of her body was laid on more correctly, but I think uh, this goes back two thirds to me reading more with more quality. The young man off to my right hand side will have reserves. Let's congratulate him. Our champion Poland Gill today is just by Madison Douglas, and the sponsorship is by Overmeyer Showcase, and a reserve champion is Tanner Overmeyer. We need class 14, Scott Gill, to the Mega Marina, class 14. Uh, to me, she's very impressive. 
to me, when I get on top of this uh, particular individual, she becomes just a little uh, flatter in terms of her kind. Uh, she's a little flatter shoulder. She's not as good there in bold in her center body, but again, that uh, range with the right kind of muscularity there going away. Uh, this is not feel in terms of uh, the basics there at the surface. Then our guilt is going to come out here next. I like this one uh, frame for me. Uh, guilt that's kind of suggested. Guilt uh, that's square about her. Uh, that one's me. Uh, to me, she's a little softer in terms of her front foot. She may be looking at just a shot of the uh, higher in her spine, a little shorter in terms of her hip. But sure, guilt that's kind of some angles uh, down there at the surface. Uh, that brings the quality to me. And then our guilt is we're going to uh, conclude our class with, I think that you're sure painting a nice picture there from the side. A uh, tall shoulder, level spine, long hip kind of a female. To me, it's one of those things I come and go with this girl. She needs to say no more. Uh, this is fit. Uh, she's a flatter make kind of a female that uh, she needs to have more groceries in this study to compete. Thank you. Choices for class 13. First, Carter Overmeyer. Second, Isaac Ramsey. Third, Lauren Ben. And fourth, Grayson Miller. We need class 15 slot guilt since the Mega Green in class 15.
still have to surface in terms of uh, the size of her back leg, in terms of that one's uh, size of her front foot. She didn't yield this got some stall to her, yield this got some center body. Uh, the longer that I look at that one, the more uh, she's starting to fall in pieces, I think, at this stage of the game. Uh, she comes out of our oldest class. She's got this to shot more press. She's not as fresh at, uh, out of the back side of her shoulder. She's not as long about the uh, length of her hip up high. But the old dad, I think, is very intriguing as a surface. That's not taking anything away from that one. And then two even longer that I look at them, uh, the more that I think there's a pressure made kind of a female. So I'm just more uh, comfortable at this point at this stage of the game. Uh, I've got a lot of Yorkshire sound and Adam's place there. I think uh, the crest of the neck, I think uh, the length of uh, the top of their hips is something in this brain that uh, we've really got to work on in terms of uh, that one's flexibility there behind. Uh, to me, she's my next favorite one. Let's get ready to her.
this one is she just does the uh, house up as well there from the side, a little more PC there in her Hamline Junction. Uh, for this job is a pay and she just gets a shot uh, around her in terms of muscularity and she's trying to drive away from me. She's not as fresh up high, she's not as fresh as we're saying, uh, but sure, I skill to be a third. Our guilt is going to come out next, I think, again, from the side, make sure it's safe and kind of protect the tall shoulders on the guilt is very well presented. Uh, uh, to me, the longer that I uh, study this female, uh, the more that I think uh, she's a little more uh, bland about her uh, skull and head. She doesn't uh, just out in terms of her skill set, her small or front foot. She's a little flatter there in terms of her side, but I like that go silhouette look from the side. I like her general build there at the surface. Our girl that's going to come out of here next is one that I think has a very attractive kind of skull. She's got an attractive kind of height and shoulder. I think she's good in terms of her uh, general tone. Uh, to me, she's just a little finer in terms of her look. She's not as uh, flexible there in her rear leg in comparison to those skills uh, that are in front of her, but sure, a nice silver leg there.
for her maturity that I just like better. The young lady like you will be my reserve. Let's congratulate her. Our champion and heavyweight cross skill exhibited by Lila Fossa today in response to the Parliament Bar. Our reserve champion heavyweight exhibited by Isabel Scales. Our next driver here will be for our champion cross bridge skill.
terms of just their similarities on their rear leg in terms of uh, feature and flex and center body. How many units of heavyweights that are on the far side of the ring as you reserve? Well, congratulations. Thank you. Our champion for us, Red Hair Barrow, is presented by Isabel Scales. And the sponsor, sponsorship is awarded by Jane Del Pian. And reserve champion, Annie Marsh. Just one letter. Next is going to be our ride. Here for our first red letter.
you guys a little more money than our Nintendo body, not as freshly presented there. The one that's going to come out here in third, you know, additionally, I like this guy's uh, look up front. I like his uh, added shape and dimension uh, that he has out of his shoulder. Uh, to me, uh, the longer that I look at this guy coming to the more that I think he wants to get too uh, jammed up in his chest. Then, most importantly, when I watch that guy uh, turn and drive away from me, he's just not as uh, appropriate in terms of his muscularity. I like to uh, see him just a little more. Seeing there in his bridges, uh, when he turns and drives away, I want to make him uh, broader around his rear leg and just have a little more uh, groceries on that guy. Then our variable will uh, conclude our class with, I think it's uh, kind of a productive uh, center kind of a era. One to me that's maybe pushing the envelope in terms of uh, condition there about his front end. Uh, one to me that's not as uh, good in terms of general build on both ends of his skeleton. For sure, one that's got some productivity, got some center body plus. So let's congratulate the catchers and givers. Thank you. Uh, 
most ready, that's most uh, pliable about his center body. That's handling the uh, drive the best in terms of uh, feet, legs. This uh, judge's opinion. Uh, not only is he that, but I think he's uh, the heavyweight kind of era that's very stout about his back legs. He's very appropriate in terms of his muscularity when he goes away. Uh, you know, ideally, I'd like to relax his uh, shoulders. You know, I'd like to get him more flexed and uh, cushion up front. So that's a longer hip era. Uh, to me, it's very presentable uh, when he turns and drives away from him. Very muscular about the front. Uh, a third of his body there. Uh, fresh kind of libero. I think a uh, nice place to start there. I like the, uh, the future of this young lady's uh, brother. It's going to be second. I think one there uh, from the side is uh, Bill the Thompson. I think the future is very, very good. Uh, to me, he becomes just a lot of uh, blame there out of the back of the shoulder. The more extended kind of libero that I don't read is hard there out of the back of the shoulder. Uh, to me, most importantly, I want to see him uh, just match a little more when he comes and goes. He's really good chested. To me, he wants to sway his rear leg. Put the shot wide. I think he's got a, a very square knock to me. He just wants to slow his hip ever so slightly. I think the interesting barrel initially, you know, in class, I was going to rock and roll with this one because I like his squareness. I love his back shape. I love the way that that big walks away. To me, he's just a shot more uh, jammed up in his frame score. Uh, that guy, uh, not only is he that, but uh, to me, he's the least appropriate in terms of uh, flexibility when he gets heated up. I thought of Maryland if he could handle the drive more uh, would be my class winner. But in uh, today's world here, we got to have him good build. we got to have him a little more uh, bigger in terms of stature. That's why that guy needs to be there. The one that's going to come out next, I think, uh, up front of the side, uh, is very presentable in terms of height to shoulder. He's got some shape out of the back side of his leg. He's very ideal in his feet and legs. To me, when I watch this guy come and go, that's why he needs to be there. He's not as good in terms of his chest. He's not as appropriate in terms of his muscularity when he turns and drives away. I think the same could be said about the one that's going to conclude our class, one that is uh, relatively comfortable in his field. But uh, to me, uh, when I study this guy in the market box, he becomes a flatter hip or a little drier there in the center body to compete. Thank you.
comes back out to the Champion Drive. I know this brings in uh, maybe uh, just a shot technical in terms of attitude, but I think uh, that guy's got a nice uh, look about him. Uh, Mondrano's going to be in second here, I think, and it's really, really good in terms of his general build, his flexibility. Uh, to me, he's got a neat look there from the side. The young man does a great job exhibiting this uh, for Steve Rivera. But to me, when I look at him coming and going, he needs to stay in a more distant second. Uh, he's a little bland around the champion hubs. Uh, Chris can go there and his muscle up high. This sure is a, a uh, soft center kind of a uh, flexible bear to be there. The one that's going to come out in third, I think, is a bigger scale bear that's got some credibility up high. Uh, to me, I just need to see this guy. Yeah, this is a little more three dimensional there uh, throughout the center portion of his body. Just fluff him up, make him a little more angular there at the surface. But I think the bear has a tall front. He's good looking up front. Got some muscularity there. In comparison to our bears, who will uh, conclude our class with it. Two similar barrels when they come out here. Uh, got some scale, got some stature. Uh, uh, relatively uh, commercial oriented barrels that are uh, bigger scale, a little lighter in terms of their muscularity, mature uh, build, and uh, design there from the side is very appropriate. Let's congratulate those guys on a really nice hamster barrel class. Thank you.
exactly why we don't have it in those tabs at our farm. Uh, your attitude is big to me, and I like to do this at least amount of uh, hard work as we can in terms of uh, trying to get them to the train, trying to get them to cooperate for our young exhibitors. Uh, to me, I thought that there uh, was a lot out here uh, taking nothing away from uh, the young man directly in front of me when I was out here.
be way up there. Oh, well, I better go get me in here. <laughs> I do get you.
again, Camp First Barrel was presented by the Duke Cunning and the sponsorship by Kaiser Farm CTR. The reserve is presented by Wesley Lawson and the Champaign County Fresh Farm is Gretchen Gardner. I went out on the porch. Saturday morning. I was here in the morning. I was here in the morning. I was here in the
class of uh, Yorkshire hogs here. I think there's a bunch of differences here, and I think uh, just one man's opinion on this given day, because there's uh, several barrels down the line that uh, have some quality, have some differences about them. Uh, to me, the one I just keep uh, coming back to in terms of look from the side, in terms of dominant feature, in terms of just overall uh, balanceness, he does have a, a tight joint in his body. Is he just uh, the biggest chest of one or the most uh, overwhelming there in terms of uh, uh, just the way that he goes away from you and uh, in terms of his face where he uh, hits the surface now. Uh, but I think he's the stout, uh, comfortable barrel uh, that's very uh, stout in terms of his feature and look. Uh, just paints a really nice stout bounce look. I'm going to go ahead and use a heavier weight uh, barrel the uh, champion. I like that guy. Uh, what is going to be a thing I keep uh, coming back to? Because I like the uh, basics of this guy. I think he's a a big standard bear that's got a really nice uh, look there from the side. I think his uh, general build there from the side is very good. To me, I need to make it just a shot uh, scouter in terms of his feature. I need to make it just a little broader there in terms of drives away. But I think if this guy's going to the Indiana State Fair here in a couple weeks, uh, then he should sure uh, be competitive because that's a very nice look, very well presented bear. Uh, not just a whole bunch of holes in that guy. Uh, to me, he's just a shot uh, smaller in terms of weight and size to use it. I really like just the general build of the young lady's bird that's going to come up next. I think that's a stout kind of a head, a bird that's got some added shape or pine. So me, uh, when I got off of this guy, I just didn't know if there was uh, just enough base width on the other end. Maybe wanted to take her there as he turns and drives away from me. Didn't come at me as broad, very square, his chest is not uh, entirely just a little uh, narrower base in general. But a nice fit there, uh, very well presented. Uh, young lady does a nice job of showing that one. Uh, Bird that's going to come out here next, I think, uh, is very attractive about his head. I think he goes away with uh, plenty of muscle. Uh, to me, he became just a shot more uh, peachier there from the top. Got just uh, a little more crest there at the top of his neck. He's not as bold there when he comes at me. He's not as stouter at the surface. To me, he becomes the off-balance barrel of uh, the five of the remaining there in front of him. I think at uh, one stage of life, this one was probably pretty nice because uh, I think he's very good in terms of the stoutness to his skull. He's got some feature there at the surface, uh, some shape up high. Uh, to me, the longer that I ran, uh, the more that I thought he was the more uh, generic barrel, uh, just in terms of muscle, not wide enough, not three-dimensional enough in a market hog shape. But a guy there that looks like he was pretty good, uh, maybe he got sick at one point of his life. There's a lot of good uh, basic parts and pieces of that guy. The one coming out here uh, next, the young lady does a very nice job for Jenny. That's a, a practical kind of an easy uh, standard. Uh, the CG, uh, feet kind of a barrel look to him. That's a bold center body. He's very good at uh, the shape of his forehead. Uh, to me, he's a little bigger up high in terms of his hip shape in comparison to his rear base look when he turns and drives away and he comes at me. He's just entirely not uh, broad enough to compete with his contemporaries. Uh, then our barrel that'll come out here next is sure one that paints a nice picture there from the side. He's got some added uh, shape and dimension about his back, about the square topped individual. Uh, to me, not a stouter at the surface, and most importantly, I got to loosen that guy up on both ends of his framework uh, to compete even higher. And our barrel uh, won't be put it off our box, but I think it's one uh, that ran into a very nice box with the difference about him. But to me, you know, with this guy's uh, scale and elevation, he becomes a flatter maker, so I got to see half more stuff to compete. Thank you. Our champion, your fair
try to stand in front of it? Or you rather start with it? Thank you. 
Rangers can start making their way up to the ring. Cooper Bear, Ginger McMillan, Berkeley the Stella, Jackson Bright, Wyatt Murphy, Kyrie Clawson, and Tobias Clawson.
as we uh, get into the first class here, guys, I think uh, I've already talked since I was a uh, junior in high school and I get a chance to do with lots of uh, families, hundreds of families throughout the years. And at this stage of the game, these tell that the kids uh, have fun. Um, you know, Michael Jordan started uh, uh, really playing uh, basketball until high school. And I can say that uh, when I was uh, when I was at the stage of the game, I didn't even know there was a judge in the ring. I showed with the cane at the Elkhart County Fair. Steve Nichols was the judge that year. I couldn't even tell you what he looked like when he came out of the ring when my dad asked me. So, uh, parents, be patient. Uh, there's some individuals out here who look like they've been doing it a long time and could probably show uh, better than most of us ringside. And some of them, uh, maybe this is their first experience out here. So, uh, parents, always keep it positive. Uh, don't be too hard on them. Let them have some fun. Congratulations, guys.
nice way to start our uh, cross stretch show here after lunch. I think uh, a pair of bears that are very uh, high in terms of quality. The real good leather line staff that are very uh, comfortable on their feet legs off uh, both ends of their skeleton for this particular class. Uh, to me, there's one that's uh, just a shot stronger on his front foot. He's neater about his head. He's very big in terms of his back. And most importantly to me, I think he just goes to the ground with a bigger foot, a square joint to me. And that's going to be the only there on the far side. Thank you. 
shop more special in terms of uh, feature. Uh, you know, you just get on top of this guy. And I think he's just got a bigger screen down his uh, top line. I think he's a bigger footing ball. Um, you know, ideally, right when he comes back, I like to just, uh, I think his chest cavity is very good. I want to uh, just square him up there in between. But I think that's the intent. You have a very nice barrel. The dark barrel will be scanty. Let's congratulate her.
one, that's one that's super balanced there from the side of the sun gravity square. When he leaves me square in the area, uh, that's him, highly presented, uh, good kind of a bear there, very sound, very good in this build, freshly presented, very good individual uh, with an heavyweight class. Uh, the only lady that's uh, going to be accepted to land is the competition here, because I think he's got the quality bear. I mean, it's very similar in terms of height and shoulder length and hip and muscularity there. He turns and drives away. Uh, to me, he's a little harder there in terms of his forehead and his length. He's kind of stout there in his feature. Most importantly, I just want to open that guy up there in his forehead and out the surface to be able to compete with my class winner. The bear that's going to be here at third, I think, is relatively good at his uh, general build there at the surface. A guy that uh, gives you a nice look there from the side. I think he's on top of this guy, and I watch him come and go. And he's staying more distant third, in my opinion. Gets a little washed out there in the hand one junction. He's not as good there on the back side of his play. He's not as just uh, crisp and bold when he comes and goes in terms of muscle. But a bear that's presented very, very well. Awesome kind of beat legs. Uh, nice third place bear there. The one that's going to come out next is a uh, very practical, kind of an easy feed kind of a bear. He's got some massive dimension up high. He's got bear up the surface and he's relatively stout in terms of his build. To me, he's just not as stretched there at the crest of his neck. He's not as strong there at the uh, front portion there of his body in terms of pastor. Uh, just not as bold there on him uh, in terms of base width when he comes and goes. And that facilitates for the kind of uh, forehead and uh, dimension that he has through his center body. The bear that's going to come out of here next sure gives you a good look up front because that's a stout head. That's a uh, it's the right kind of blade with it, in my opinion, right kind of chest, but uh, with all this added mass and power, I just want to see him longer on both ends of his framework. Uh, to me, he's uh, the short stride bearer uh, off of both ends of his skeleton, and I just like to relax and give him just a shot, uh, more balanced, uh, attractive look to him. And then our bear that we'll conclude our class with is another one. I think that uh, gives you kind of a balanced look from the side in terms of height to shoulder, levelness there down his spine. He's good on his front foot. To me, he's the plainest, the most generic about his muscle to compete at this stage of the game. Thank you. Thank you for attending the Headway Cross Contest. First, Gavin Young will win the sponsorship by Gary Snipes. Reserve, Allie Bealy. And we have County Bird Born Heavyweight Champion Isabella Jones. And Reserve Champion County Bird Born Heavyweight Grace Hunter. We need all the reserve divisional champions into the makeup arena, the reserve divisional champions.
here than the green here. I think a barrel that is very stout in terms of his feature. Watch that guy walk away, uh, shut him on the top side of his framework. That's a very uh, stout made barrel. I love his skull. I love uh, the way that guy ties his uh, blade in the, uh, just on the front side of his framework. That's a heavy duty barrel that's still playing about his joints. He's very attractive there from the side. Then you get on top of him, man. That guy's got a bunch of muscle. He's right there. Uh, in terms of the uh, muscle that he has when he directly goes away, and he's still very square on both ends. Uh, to me, I just like to make him just a shot softer in terms of his form and shape. Square him up just a hair of his knee when he comes at me, but that's a stout feature, really attractive one. Uh, the next one we'll talk about is the young man off my left hand side. That one takes an awesome silhouette there again from the side. He's very broad when he comes at me. To me, I gotta ask you, uh, myself, is this guy just muscular enough? Does he have a big enough forearm and a foot size? And most importantly, I watch this guy directly drive away from me. He wants to plant on the outside of the ship wall. He's not as dense or at the surface. Then we'll uh, conclude with our uh, heavyweight barrel. Uh, to me, uh, uh, just to think that combines so much good in terms of look, in terms of power. Uh, so he just ties uh, eyes and shoulder, stepping down into his front foot the way he comes at me. That's a big heavyweight barrel that's still uh, very, very fresh. He's square jointed. Uh, comes down to it more than enough. Super, super big up high. Uh, very, very good thing in my personal opinion. The black headed barrel we can be. Let's congratulate him.
your crossbred fair hair will be champion. Let's congratulate her.
sure that they're cheering me on all the time. You know, I just got back from Louisville, Kentucky, and I'll be honest, I didn't have the greatest week down there. Kind of got my teeth knocked in, and uh, that's on me. Uh, that's a look in uh, the mirror kind of process with the way that I greet them. And, uh, you know, we still had a good day, but I'm going to tell you, a lot of my friends in my circle had an incredible day. One of my buddies won the Guild Show, had some friends of mine that had some top five overall breaks, make the grand drive. And uh, be the person that when you don't do well, don't be a sourpuss. Congratulate your friends, congratulate the people that beat you, because in all reality, you guys need to have optimistic attitudes, optimistic times in your life when things aren't going your way. Be the bigger person, stand up and admit that it's myself that needs to get better. It's not the judge, it's not the referee, it's not uh, the other coach or the other parent said something or you think he said something about you, so he puts you second or maybe he didn't play that game. A lot of that stuff is on you. So if I challenge any of you guys to think about something, think about those kinds of things because it really helped uh, myself growing up with mom and dad kind of the way that they raised us and developing in my family and my friend group that they allowed me to hang out with them. I, uh, I was kind of a guy that uh, I was in Pondita all the time. It wasn't the, uh, it wasn't the first seed in all the wrestling tournaments or the uh, guy that won the county fair last year. I was kind of the Cinderella story. And uh, to me, there's, uh, there's no greater thing to come in there and be uh, that guy that's been working his butt off and uh, that gets rewarded one day. But your reward might not happen right away. That's why that process of life, of attitude, work ethic, demeanor, and the way that you present yourself, eventually, if you do all those things, at some point in time in your life, it will be right. I guarantee you that. That's uh, my soapbox for the day. That's what I think. I'm going to have to drive them up. I, uh, I thought I'd come down to a paraphone and uh, I asked the individual when he came in if he thought he was driving the right one. And uh, I'm not sure if he is because I thought there was one for his uh, age and uh, established and wait for the surety pattern.
Are we ready for Junior Woods? No. Go ahead.
RTC TV4 would like to thank all of our sponsors for our 2023 Fulton County 4-H Fair coverage. It's businesses like you that help us continue to provide this great service to our community and to document these events for future generations to enjoy. To see what's coming up in our broadcasts, visit us online at www.rtc4.com.